buenos dias and happy november 1st it is the first of the month so i thought i would do monthly reset slash getting ready for christmas just kidding <laughs> just getting ready for the month my desk i was just looking at it right now on the screen and i'm like wow my desk is a literal disaster which is what my life has felt like not a disaster but a mess which is what my life has felt like these last couple of days like weeks honestly the entire month of october i feel like the entire month of october was obviously it was my birthday month but i got sick so i feel like me getting sick kind of threw me off the entire month because it pushed me back on work it pushed me back on like creating content so i felt very behind the entire month we did not do anything for halloween like we didn't do we didn't go to any like halloween parties we didn't do anything like that i mean halloween honestly to me is i think if i have to rank it it's probably my least favorite holiday i love the feels of it but i'm not like a halloween person if that makes any sense like i'm not one to like dress up plan out my outfits there's people that are dedicated to the holiday i'm definitely not one of those i thrive during christmas time i feel like that's my favorite holiday of all time like i'm here for grinch you know, I'm here for Coast 103.5 when they start playing the music. I'm here for the Christmas trees, the Christmas lights, the hot chocolate. Like, that is my vibe. That is when I just go ham. Halloween, not so much. I decorated, though. I did put a little, you know, I, I did put a little spooky touches to the house. I loved seeing the neighborhood, though. Like, I would have Dennis every time we'd come home. Like, babe, let's drive around the neighborhood to see, like, who decorated. Like, that makes me happy, but, like, getting dressed is not my thing. Anyway, that was my spiel. October was kind of a little bit of a chaotic month in that sense because I got sick. So I didn't really do much. September, I feel like I thrived. I set goals and I feel like I accomplished most of my goals that I set for the month. I didn't do any of that for October. So I wanted to set some goals for November, which is not going to be like crazy goals um one of them i want to try a new recipe i feel like this is when the weather really starts changing at least you know we kind of hope so uh but the weather starts changing it get, gets a little bit chillier so i would love to try like a new soup recipe we do want to buy a new bed frame that was a goal for september it, it still has not been completed so we're going to roll that over to november we want to get a new bed we already know which bed we're getting we already have our mattress um we just haven't bought the bed frame so that's a goal i want to organize and declutter the area underneath my side of the bathroom like my sink underneath it is a total mess so i would love to accomplish that what else start my christmas shopping okay i i don't want to be the person i say this every single year and i somehow always end up being that person that is shopping on like the 23rd I don't want to do that i already started my christmas shopping i already got two things which is nice and it's for two people so i got that and then my niece actually set her christmas list early which is nice because that way i could just get that out of the way so i want to start my christmas shopping this month i read a book i have fallen off my reading which i hear is normal like i hear people kind of go through cycles where you're like deep into your books and then you're kind of just like disconnected that's where i'm at right now and it's it happened to me for a while and then I, I started reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and I feel like that kind of hooked me back in. And then I read a few Colleen Hoover books and I'm just kind of back in that little funk. So I would like to read one book. I'm not going to like put too much pressure on myself. So one book and um, what else? I think that's really it. If I think of something else, I'll let you guys know. But those are the goals. Um, nothing crazy. If you guys have any goals for the month, I always try to create goals that are attainable and that's that's not going to make me feel like disappointed in myself if I don't accomplish them. But for today, today the goal is to go get our nails done. Okay, look at these nails. Like what is happening? They are so grown out. So I need to go get my nails done. I'm hoping I don't have an appointment. So I have to call. I'm waiting for them to open because they haven't opened yet. So when I go get my nails done, I want to go to Target to look at the Christmas decorations decorations i did have an event but i just got a text from my manager and i have to turn something in so i don't think i'm gonna make it to this event i think i'm just gonna focus on this work that i have done or that i have to do and then i think that's it oh we have to remove our our halloween decoration so it's gonna be a fun vlog it's a little reset vlog maybe go do some grocery shopping go get some flowers you know the fun usual stuff but i'm gonna get some work done i have a ton of edits that i need to do and then kind of organize my content that's another thing that i feel like i need to organize my content so i'm gonna for sure do that but cheers good morning buenos dias let's have a beautiful start to a new month i was 
at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky when you took my hand Okay, it is 11 o'clock now. I just finished editing and uploading today's well, it's currently oh, it's 11 11 <laughs> um, It's currently uploading my Spanish vlog. So I'm going to get in the shower But I was thinking about if I should I'm gonna wash my hair today So today's hair wash day So I like to apply some rosemary oil on my hair because it helps with hair growth and I have noticed so much new growth It's pretty wild and I haven't even been using it that long. So I got this on Amazon. I will link it for you guys if you guys want to pick it up yourself. I think I saw it on TikTok. I saw it somewhere and I ended up ordering it, but I'll find it and I'll link it for you guys. Rosemary oil is supposed to help with hair growth. So I have been using it, but anyway, so I was thinking, should I apply this now? Just do like a body shower, run out the door, do my errands, but then I'm going to smell like this all while I'm out and it's very strong. So I think what I'm gonna do is, by the way, I got a nail appointment at three o'clock. It is currently 11, so go pick up some breakfast, go to Target, and then go to um, get my nails done. And then when I get back, I'll apply the rosemary oil. I'll leave it in my hair for a little bit, even though I wanted to leave it longer. Should I just do it? You know what, I'm just gonna do it, who cares? Who cares? I would rather smell like rosemary than not do it. So I'm just going to, the way I do it is I take the oil directly to my hair. Some people dilute it. I just take it directly to my hair. And I just use like a little pump of it and just kind of press it. I especially do it like around my hairline because that is where, you know, tengo entradas. So, and then I just kind of dis distribute it throughout my head. All right. So next what i do is i grab my little scalp brush this is my little scalp br brush it is from fakai but you can find different ones they have some on amazon they have some at sephora and then i just like to kind of massage this into my hair just so like it really penetrates into the scalp and you kind of just get like the circulation going i want to go to starbucks and get a coffee starbucks drinks holiday drinks come out in a few days so i'm excited about that i think tomorrow actually so i'm just gonna massage this in i don't know if my hair honestly my hair doesn't even i was gonna say i don't know if my hair is gonna look oily but it doesn't all right, so once this is massaged in, I am going to get in the shower, do a quick body shower, and then when I get back from the nail salon, I will get back in the shower. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to, I was going to do a body shower, but I'll just shower when I get back from running my errands. I showered last night anyway, so. All right, I'm going to get dressed, and then we're going to head out. We're doing major cozy vibes today. I'm gonna be wearing my jacket from Target. I got this one last year and honestly, it was such a good buy because they have similar jackets like this. like at Free People, uh, which are so much more expensive. And I found this one at Target last year for like, I wanna say like $25 or even $20. And it's such a cute print and it gives me Free People like vibes. Like it's, it just looks like it. Or like I got it at Urban or something. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. I kind of like, uh, created my whole outfit around it. I mean, nothing special, just leggings and a black top, but this is the jacket that we're gonna be cozied up in. It's kind of chilly also. Is it chilly or not? Okay, because I'm like, sometimes this weather is so crazy. I'll go out or I'll think it's cold because it feels cold in the house and then I'll walk out and it's blazing hot. So I'm happy it's chilly. Cozy outfit check. So I have my little leggings from Aeropostale. Well, Airy, you guys. I have raved about these leggings since I got them. They are literally the best leggings. They like suck you up, but they're comfortable. They're nice and high-waisted. I'll link them for you guys. I'm wearing my Nikes. These are the, what are these? Air, Air 7? 20s? I don't know, but I'll link them as well. And then my little jacket that I already showed you guys. Super cozy, did no makeup. I just did my skincare, sunscreen. Let's go to Target. Why am I so excited? Give me. And then, yes, the frames are still without pictures. There's something wrong with me. Okay, I've come to the conclusion that if I could live with this for four years, three years, and not put pictures in, there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. But anyway, let's go. Thought I was leaving, but I just got some text messages from my manager. So guess what? Back at the desk. It's okay. I just need to do some edits really quick on a video, and then, then we can leave. I mean, go to, to Starbucks. I'm like salivating those little egg bites. 
<laughs> I'm like dying because I was just posting my outfit today on Instagram and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to find a jacket in case anybody wants it. I can link it for them on the Instagram. So I went on Target and I'm like, why isn't this coming up? I know I got this at Target. I did not get this jacket at Target. I got it at Nordstrom. I completely confused it with my other jacket that looks like this, but it's in this really pretty hunter green. That one I did get at Target. This one's from Nordstrom. But the brand is Thread and Supply and I was trying to find it. Actually, let me see if Nordstrom has it because it's such a good jacket. I think I paid like 50 bucks. So, which is still a lot less than uh, Free People because the one from Free People, I think is like a hundred and something dollars. And I, they don't have it anymore. It's such a cozy little jacket. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. I mean, I'm going to Target. Maybe they'll have some new ones. <laughs> but right now I was like, wow, I'm over here giving totally wrong information. But anyway, Target last year or Nordstrom last year but they don't have it anymore. All right, let's go to Target. I, you know what? I'm hungry. That's what it is. I'm hungry. We have made it to Starbucks. Hope you guys are here because I'm like, the lighting right there was horrible. I'm um, trying to think of what I want to get. I was thinking about getting the chai, but I've heard it's really sweet. What is back here? Oh, I'm like, what is that? It's a box. I want to return that. So I don't know if I want to get it because I don't want anything too sweet. And there's nothing that I am craving. I don't have like a drink at Starbucks, you know what I mean? I feel like I look really short because the camera is like, <laughs> like I'm not that short. I mean, I am, actually, I am. Hello there, welcome to Starbucks. Hi, um, can, do you guys have any of the egg bites? Any of the egg bites? We actually have all three of those today. So that's gonna be the bacon, the red pepper, and the mushroom. I'll have the red pepper. Sounds good. And I will do the pumpkin cream cold brew in, nice. in tall. Pumpkin cream, sounds amazing. Anything else you? That's it. We will see you for 970. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, okay, we got pumpkin, pumpkin cream cold brew and my egg bites. I'm excited and I'm hungry. I'm like, where am I gonna park to eat this? Because I am so hungry. All right, it's gonna be 970 today. Awesome. Thanks so much for all your nails. Thank you. Pop up here. Let us know. And then you want to show up and call pumpkin cream. Um, no, it's okay. We have our magic cart <laughs> and my little pumpkin spice. This is what I ended up, I ended up eating the egg bites in the car. Like I scarfed them down before coming in. Um, and I parked somewhere where it was kind of dark, so that's why I didn't, I didn't vlog. But I have my coffee. As you guys can see, I get a tall because I don't drink a lot of coffee. I can never be a venti girl. Like that will never be me. But we have made it to my favorite area of Target. This is the hearth and hand. I'm trying to get a cute, I already have my holiday mug, which I thrifted. I'm trying to see if they have other ones. Like, this is kind of cute, like it's simple. Oh, it says peace, that's cute, but you know, it's not like, this one's cute too. It's a little rain, oh, cozy. That is adorbs. Um, so these are $5, which is a really good price. And then um, they have like, this little setup, these are plastic. These are 250. Cute. This little mug is kind of cute too with the little tree. What is going on right here? What is this? Just like drinks and cups. This one's kind of cute. This one's cute. It's like super simple. This one is also $4.99. That's kind of cute. Like really simple. Placemats. This is cute too. I like that this kind of looks vintage. Cute little vintage vibe. This looks vintage too. Last year I wanted to do like a little vintage Christmas, like get a bunch of like decorate with things that looked vintage. So, what is this? Oh, it's a bag, a gift bag. I'm like, what is this? I almost had a panic attack. I literally, look at where I left my phone. I was already on the other side of Target. Jesus. Okay, I need to stop. I need to, I need to go. Oh my God, my heart. That is the worst feeling ever. I got, I came back so fast. Good thing nobody had it, nobody grabbed it. Back home, so I thought I would show you guys my super random 
Target haul. Okay, so let's start with this. I got this cute lamp. The only thing, tell me if it looks like the shade is off. Like, I feel like it's not centered, but anyway, this is from Studio McGee. It is so nice. I thought this would look really cute because we're getting a new bed and new nightstands. And I like that this is a lighter color because the ones that we currently have are black. So this one was from Studio McGee. I will link everything. $80. I think it's such a good deal because I think the ones that we currently have are from West Elm. And I think I paid like $300 a lamp. So this is a really good deal. I also picked up these three candles. This one is i only got it because this is like dennis's favorite pastry so and it also smells really yummy this i'll burn closer to like christmas because it's very like desserty i don't know it just gives me holiday vibes and then obviously this one is just like your traditional christmas one i got this one because i like that it's like a like more of a basic like not too much going on on the candle this one's like a little bit there's a lot but i can always do this <laughs> and then I picked this one up which I had not seen these candles at Target before they smell so good but they are a little bit pricier this one was $40 it is a huge candle though it has three wicks I feel like this is going to like I'll let you guys know how it burns but I feel like it's gonna last all through December it smells so good I got the pomegranate and cedar it just smells like sweet but like not like sweet like dessert sweet it just it's a really really nice scent so and I love the like the glass jar of it. So I thought it was just such a really pretty candle. This little guy, he's so random, but all the Halloween stuff was 50% off. And I figured for next year, we can have this cute little skeleton and it was only 10 bucks. So picked him up. I got this throw for Christmas. It's a real, it looks, let me see. I feel like the camera's not picking up the color. It's more of like a sage green, like really pretty green. I think this is the color that I want to go with for like decorations. I'm not sure yet, but it looks gray. I don't like the way that it looks. Why does it look gray? Oh my God, it's like, hold on. Oh my God, that's so weird that it looks gray. Let me put it against the couch because it's going to go on this couch. Does it still look gray? Let me know in the comments if this looks gray. I feel like this is going to be like that dress. Like it's either blue or white. Let me know what you guys see because it's it's green. It's like a really pretty sage green, but I feel like the camera's picking up as gray. Um, but it's a really pretty throw, so love that. So we got this. I also picked up this cute hand towel for our guest bathroom. So cute and festive with the little Christmas trees. This one was, how much was this? I think it was like five bucks. I think it was like five dollars, but I'll link it if I find it. And then I also got these cute little stockings for the boys. They're little bones. How cute is this? Oh my goodness. I'm going to fill this up with like little treats and toys and stuff to give to them for Christmas. And these were three dollars. They were the last two. I'm going to uh, get something with their names on them and then put, like either pin it on here so that it's like a little bit more custom but I thought it was so cute they have their own little stocking and it's in the shape of a bone so that's everything I got <laughs> it's so funny um that's everything I got and I'm so excited to burn this candle I will keep you guys updated I'm about to light the candle I hope I like the way this burns because it was $40 and I will be excuse me so sad if it doesn't smell good when it burns. It's a pretty big candle and it was expensive. But I like, I really like that it's big. There we go. <laughs> I love the way my nails turn out. These are my natural nails and they are thriving. I got a um, bubble bath from OPI, just like something natural. So pretty. Okay, we're gonna head home now. Uh, it's like 4.30. We've had such a productive day. Love that for me. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I... Please place smart key. Okay. What is going on? I don't know why there is those little light things right here. I think it's dust in my in my lens. But anyway, okay, we are up and running. I don't know what was going on with the car. It wasn't reading our other key, so I had to go get our spare key. And it was still acting weird, but then eventually it turned on. I'm like, anyway, we, guess where we're at? <laughs> we're at the drive-thru at Starbucks. It is November 3rd. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but yesterday was a really rough day for me, and I don't wanna, it makes me emotional to think, of, like, not to think about it, but 
it's, it's just life is so fragile and sometimes we we can forget that because we get so caught up in like unnecessary things okay let's hold on things that make me happy uh iced sugar cookie almond milk latte or do you want a caramel brulee latte are those the only holiday drinks i don't know the iced sugar cookie almond milk latte sounds good let's do that even though it's iced and it's cold but anyway oh but i want a holiday cup so should we do the caramel brulee latte? Because it's cold, so we'll just do a warm a warm drink. I'll sit down and talk to you guys about this once I feel like more comfortable and less anxious. Uh, but yesterday was like a really rough day for me. It started after we went after we went to Target. I came home. I think I had lunch. Yeah, I had lunch and then got ready. I got in the shower. I was gonna film. And then I got a call from my doctor. And I missed her call and I had been waiting for her call and she left me a voicemail. And I've just become very, 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 very anxious about just going to the doctors. Like I was never like this before. Making like even like my pap smear appointments make me anxious now. And I know that it's all in my head, but I feel like after I had my surgery, when I had my first surgery with endo, I have a feeling something triggered in me because it started happening after that. Not right after that, but I would say like a year after because we had my surgery and everything was fine. I was supposed to have my surgery and we thought, oh, we're gonna go into surgery and then you guys are gonna be able to get pregnant. And this has me feeling the way that I feel has absolutely nothing to do with me not being able to get pregnant. It does not. I'll do a whole video on that and how I feel about that and it has nothing to do with that. It just like triggered something in me that I hate and it's caused me a lot of anxiety. And I know that it's all in my head and I'm, I feel like I have become like a freaking hypochondriac where it's like any little thing, I'm like, am I dying? Do I have cancer? Like I just go so dark with my thoughts. Anyway, she left me a voicemail and because I didn't get to talk to her, it just, I started creating all these things in my head and all day yesterday until she called me back uh, around 6.30, I was just so, so anxious and it's just a horrible feeling. If you suffer from that or if you experience that, it is the worst feeling to feel so helpless because your brain is just feeding you such negative thoughts and 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 I try to like shake it off and you know thank god I have somebody like Dennis that that talks me through those moments and I'm working so hard to change that one thing I will say one thing that did help me a lot was writing in my journal yesterday I wrote in my journal and I almost just kind of like left all my feelings and thoughts and wrote a lot of affirmations and it made me feel so much better so much more at peace I also prayed a lot I'm also like a firm believer that prayer is just like to me that's like my comfort and I and I talk to God all the time and I know he's with me and that helps me a lot so if you go through those moments um, one just know you're not alone two know that it will pass and three know that we are stronger than the bruno that's up here that those thoughts that always go so dark and so left and so i definitely want to talk to a therapist i kind of want to see what i talked to my to my doctor and she said that i now almost experience like ptsd from my surgery which sucks she's like because you went in there with one thought and when you came out of surgery and after we did like my checkup after my surgery it was like the complete opposite of what we were expecting so she just she kind of explained to me like you have ptsd so it's like anytime you talk about a pap smear or endo or cyst or this or that it just makes you so anxious and it makes a lot of sense and it sucks because i was never like this but today is a new day so anyway all of that to say that i was supposed to come yesterday my thoughts were like oh okay November 2nd the holiday drinks obviously I was a wreck yesterday so I didn't leave the house but today today's a new day I feel so much better because I had to talk with my doctor I'm so grateful I'm I'm just I'm just happy you know sometimes like I said we stress about the stupidest things the dumbest shit material stuff or work or this or that none of that matters you guys if you have peace of mind and if you have health that or that is the true riches of life if you have that you have it all everything else will figure itself out hi, hi kitty
can I get a tall uh, caramel brulee latte with almond milk? Yeah, if I could get a, a bagel with cream cheese. That was my day yesterday, but today is a new day and I'm feeling so much better and I'm so grateful and I don't take anything for granted. I really don't. I try to always be a very um, grateful person, positive, and just live life and enjoy it and not complain and not, you know, dwell on dumb things like Starbucks not having cream cheese. Like the, that, those things are so unimportant, but I'm happy. I'm happy today and I'm happy that I get to come and get my holiday drink. And now after we get our drink, we're going to try it. And then we're going to go to the mall because it is actually my nephew's birthday today and I need to get him his birthday gift. And then I have to come home, get ready because I'm going to a, uh, an event for it and then shooting from there to his birthday dinner. And then tomorrow, Dennis and I go to Sausalito. We're going to San Francisco. We're going to be staying at a really cute hotel in Sausalito, which I'm really excited about. And then we're going to be going to Richmond to visit his family. We're going to stay there for a few days and then, yeah, spend some family time which is also very like like makes my heart so happy especially like going to his side of the family because we don't get to see them very often so it's always a like nice little treat to be able to go out there and spend time with with the family and that's the plan for the weekend we were debating whether we should drive or fly because we always drive but i think we're gonna fly um we waited obviously last minute to get the tickets i haven't even gone to the, the flights i checked them earlier they were like 250 so which is pretty expensive for san francisco because normally you can find fl find flights for like 100 bucks but because we waited last minute so anyway that is the spiel there's a long line so we'll see when we get our drink and we'll try it i did not want to use this camera because it gives me torta face i am serving torta face but i'm excited to try our little holiday drink just also realized that i forgot to put on earrings i forgot my ring I am a mess still. But anyway, we got our holiday drink and they she said they ran out of tall cups, so they gave me a grande, but I don't think they filled it up. Or did they? Wow, they kind of did. I don't know. It's like up to here. Hmm. So we got lucky on that end. And then she's like, would you like a pumpkin uh, cream cheese muffin? And I was like, sure. And she gave me a muffin. So it's, wow. It's a good day. I told you guys it was going to be a good day. Even though they didn't have cream cheese for my bagel. The universe didn't want me to have a bagel. They wanted me to have a muffin. <laughs> so she gave it to me. I thought that was so sweet. But let's try this. Okay, let's try this drink. Our first holiday drink of the season. But it's delicious. It's a little... Let's, let's try this again. Hold on. It's good. It's just a teeny tiny bit, a little too sweet for me. Like I could do a little less sugar. I feel like ice, it would probably taste better because the ice dilutes it a little bit. But it's good. And it's a holiday cup. Let's look at it. Why do these things make us so happy? My goodness, look at this. Ah, it's so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. I'm gonna enjoy my muffin for a little bit and then uh, actually, I'm going to head out to the mall because I need to get back soon. And I'll see you guys in a bit. 